Hello you all. Welcome back to another weekend in my life vlog. Today is Saturday, but I have woken up extra early because I have booked a morning workout class. No rest for the weekend, eh? I have a jam-packed day ahead. Also, today is hair wash day. So please excuse this messy hair. This humidity is wreaking havoc on my already fine hair. So there's that. Now let's get going because I'm already I think late for the gym and I'll see you later. Done with my workout. So it was slightly tough today because I could not keep up my energy levels for the entire class, but it's okay. Not every day is the absolute best. Probably this was one of those days. Now I am yet to take a shower but before that I want to finish off a couple of chores and then of course have some breaky breaky because I am damn hungry. I am going to prepare some peanut butter toast. Let's go. First I am going to take a spoonful of butter in a pan and heat it up. Then I am going to toast two slices of bread in the butter till they become crispy and crackly which is the way I like them. Here I have taken the finished toast and I am applying some peanut butter. After that I am going to put on some banana which I have sliced and then finish off the sandwich with a sprinkle of honey. This is how my finished sandwich looks. somehow procrastinating taking a shower because washing the hair is a lengthy process. Anywho, I have decided to make myself some lunch. On the menu today is chili basil fried rice. This dish is also the first time I am going to attempt. As it so happens, there are literally no vegetables in the house. Due to some order glitch, all the veggies that are placed in the order are coming tomorrow. So, I am left with no vegetables in the house except for some greens. I came across this recipe on Instagram and found that it could be prepared with minimal ingredients which is perfect for this occasion. So, let's go and attempt it. I have all my ingredients ready. Some green chilies, minced garlic, finely chopped basil. Then go the chilies. Adding some garlic. Saute it for few seconds. Now I am adding the basil leaves. Adding some oregano and some chili flakes. Also adding some lemon juice, soya sauce, some green chili sauce and some red chili sauce. This is how my lunch plate looks like. I have also added some boiled eggs for some extra protein. After that sumptuous lunch, I am feeling a little drowsy. So I am going to take a teeny tiny nap. But before that, the review of the chili garlic fried rice. This dish really surprised me because I did not expect it to be so flavorful using only 4 ingredients. The star of the dish was definitely the basil because it, the flavor was so intense. In spite of me adding so many sauces, I could still taste the unique flavor of basil. I am liking the flavor of basil a lot. So I am definitely going to experiment and try more dishes with basil. I prefer a lot of spice in my food. This was a great option for me because of the chilies and the chili sauce and the chili flakes. A lot of heat was incorporated into the dish. So it was a perfect option for me. Obviously, you can adjust these spice amount as per your taste that is what makes it so versatile and easy as well easy to prepare i'm gonna go take a snooze and i'll see you after because in the evening i have plans to go out for dinner hello i am all ready wearing the simple top and jeans and some mules 
for footwear. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where we are going because we might either go to the mall or some cafe. But I'll take you along with me. So let's go. It's Sunday afternoon and typical of Sundays, I've had a very late start. I probably woke up at around 12-ish and since then I've been lazing around in the house. Do you also experience lazy Sundays? If yes, then we are in the same boat. Now I was debating whether I should order lunch or not because I'm also going out for dinner. So after a lot of back and forth, I decided that I'll cook something. And on the menu for today's lunch is egg fried rice. I think it's pretty easy to cook egg fried rice. So, and I also happen to enjoy eggs. So it's a win-win. I'm going out for dinner. It's actually a small party. Uh, this is my outfit for it. I'm wearing this cute top from Zudio, some jeans and this pair of heels. I've also added in these hoop earrings. It's not exactly a hoop. And these rings. And I'm also going to carry this sling bag along. So I'll see you at the party. Bye. 